I don't like this. It's them first. You know what that means. Can you tell what my favorite genre is? Tell me this is the cutest thing ever. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. Are you seeing this? Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This vlog has no real meaning. I'm currently editing a video. So I'm doing some work this morning. But happy Monday. Let me get some good lighting up because that's terrible. It's currently 11 o'clock. I've just been editing my reading vlog. And I have decided to vlog this week. Because this vlog is going to be Christmassy. Because this vlog, I'm just checking the dates. Yeah, because this Friday is the 1st of December. So we're going to be decorating for Christmas. I just have a lot of parcels coming and stuff like that. Because a lot of it is Christmas presents. So I just thought maybe I could do something interesting within this vlog. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But I'm currently just doing some editing and doing some YouTube work. And then later on, I'm going to go pick up some parcels. Because we have some parcels waiting for us. I think most of them are going to, they're all going to be Christmas presents, let's be honest. <laughs> I literally have probably seven parcels waiting for me. Because I ordered so much for Christmas. For other people, not for myself. <laughs> But I hope you guys are going to stay for the ride for this weekly vlog. Again, there is no plan for this weekly vlog. Just the Christmas part. And I usually vlog every single year of us decorating Christmas. I'm pretty sure I try and vlog every year. But if you want to stay for the weekly vlog, you can. But I'm going to edit. So enjoy the time lapse. It's going to happen. And then I'm going to have a shower today. I'm going to go to the post office. And I'm probably going to get into reading again. Because I have to read Iron Flame. Because if you saw my last weekly vlog, kind of my reading vlog, I read two chapters and I was over it. So I kind of want to get back into that. <laughs> let's hope I don't pick up another book in regards to that anyway but hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's just get into it Everybody, I just want to jump on this video and just do a little bit of an unboxing for you guys before this vlog officially starts. I look worse for wear because it's 30 degrees and I just went for a walk and I have sunscreen on my shoulders. So that is why Nelly is currently attacking me and I'm so sorry, but I have to film this little unboxing for this vlog. The company, Anna Louisa, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, reached out to me to do a little, 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 little mini NC collab around the perfect time for Christmas. Like, come on now. And I have this little box here to show you all the goodies they picked out for me and I'm so excited. You guys know basically the only jewelry I wear is this necklace and these two rings constantly. Everything else I just kind of switch up. I'll leave everything you need to know about this company and Anna Louisa and the pieces all down below. But I'm so excited to open this because this came all the way from New York City to little old me in Australia. How crazy is that? So we're going to open this and I don't know how to open it now now. Oh my god that's so cute. What the fuck? I've never had this company before or pretty much jewelry in general. But look at this. First of all, we have a little card. Hi, Chloe. We are super excited to be partnering with you. That's so cute, though. Okay. You can actually snag 35% off while you still can with the discount code and the link down below in my description box. Just get someone to some cute little pieces. I'm so excited. So I actually have no idea what's in here. So I think I have four pieces here. This is stunning packaging. This is like first impressions and everything. I'm so excited. What's this? Oh, it's a bracelet. I picked a bunch of bracelets because I don't wear bracelets. Look at this. Stunning. Is there a name for this? This is a Danae Silver. Again, I'll leave all of these linked down below, but you have a card with the name and everything. But this is the little dainty silver bracelet. Hopefully it's focusing on that and not my face. I'm usually a silver jewelry person besides this ring, which is my Nan's. And this is gold too, which I just realized. But I usually prefer silver. But again, I don't really give a shit. I don't have a preference. I just kind of prefer one over the other. But that is the first piece. Absolutely insane. I'm going to take so many pictures with these. Now let's open a big one, shall we? I feel like this is actually a bracelet again. Oh, this is so exciting. It's like Christmas. Dude, it's like a little cuff. Ugh. Stop. Okay, what's the name of this one? This is apparently called Arlo. So it's a one size bracelet. It's like a little cuffling that you just fit over your fucking arm, obviously. And you just wear it constantly. I'll be wearing this non-stop. I'm not joking. I'll be wearing this non-stop. This is the perfect Christmas present anyone could give you. Dude, and these little pouches, there's like two different sections in these. Oh, these pouches are insane. Now, next little small one. Oh, we have some earrings. I don't have any earrings in my first holes because I don't have any that like I could wear daily because I swear... I swapped them out with like hoops and stuff when I want to go to different events. But look at these. There is plastic on them, so I will take them off, obviously. But these are called the Jessica and the little dangly little heart. Imagine me wearing these every single day. Look, I have literally no words. I need to put these on my ears right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say anymore. And we have one last one. I feel like this might be a necklace. It is! 
necklace. It's a necklace. I actually picked this thinking it wouldn't fit me, but I feel like I might give it to a friend for Christmas, which is even more exciting. This is called the Julie Cho, I'm pretty sure. And this is a pearl little necklace. I just almost dropped it. And at the bottom here is a little insanity flower. Are you actually kidding me? Look at the little flower. That, oh, that's backwards. Look how stunning. You'd wear it like this. That would be really cute even with this necklace as well. Oh my God. Thank you so much to Anna Louisa for sending me out these little things. Again, I will leave everything down below. You can use my discount code and the link in my description to get 35% off. I'm pretty sure that's how I read it. If it's not, it'll be on the screen. It'll be down below. I'm just a bit kerfuffled right now because this is insane to actually get gifts like this. So thank you so much for sending this out to me. Again, if you want a little gift for yourself or someone you love in your family, friends, etc, etc, click the link. You gotta, you gotta spoil yourself once in a while, but also spoil the people around you because the people around you are with you for a reason. So you get to spoil them 110% but that is a little unboxing for you guys I'm so sorry for just jumping in here randomly before the video starts, but let's get back into the actual weekly vlog <laughs> oh, One, two, three, four <laughs> It's so pretty I'm in my parents' room for some reason. I've just been to the post office and one of Corey or Dad's computer chairs, which is for their Christmas present, has arrived. But Corey got me a bunch of books for Christmas and I've just opened them to see if they're all there. And I'm so excited. So really quickly we'll run through it. Ooh, that makes me sad. But this is I Wish You The Best from Mason Diva. Anyway, this cover is absolutely stunning. What the heck? I've already read this novella. I have it in a paperback, but you know how is my life. So I finally got the Nick and Charlie um, novella, but in like hardback with the dust jacket and I'm so excited to display this. This is absolutely stunning. And then I finally, they were all in stock at the same time. So I convinced Corey to buy me the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garba. Didn't know the fucking third one was bigger, but it's okay. So we have Once Upon a Broken Heart. We have The Ballad of Never After and then The Curse of True Love. I also am getting the rest of the Caraval, Caraval series for Christmas as well. So I'll finally have the whole set really. So I'm down here because all our Christmas presents are here but i thought i would show you something really exciting that came in the mail which is for christmas i have to show you guys already hello also all of my presents i'm pretty sure literally every single one are books i think i yeah yeah are you shocked you shouldn't be oh my god yeah yeah mm -hmm. this is my first wish for my christmas wish list i guess i Really, really wanted. Oh, Nellie's here. My one wish for Christmas was to get the Casey McQuinston Lua Crate Edition Red, White, and Royal Blue and one last stop. Mainly for Red, White, and Royal Blue because you guys know I'm a sucker for a special edition of my favorite book of all time. So, I thought I would quickly show you. Mm -hmm. I haven't read this book, but I need to. But this is the dust jacket. We got the sprayed edges and everything. But I really, really wanted it for the under dust jacket art. Like, look at that. The Red, White, and Royal Blue one is stunning Nelly. Again, this is the dust jacket and the sprayed edges as well. But look at this art. I'm gonna front face this on my shelf. Are you joking? And then inside the end pages have art as well. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry. I thought these were unsigned. I don't think my mum even knows that that's there. Is one last stop signed as well? This is a little note and then she's signed down the bottom. Anyway, um, <laughs> wow. Okay, didn't know that. We're gonna wrap some presents. Even though it's for December, I have a bunch of stuff to kind of wrap for Christmas presents. Now we're not doing wrapping this year, we're doing baggies because it's just so much easier. We have so many bags here that I'm just gonna use them and reuse them, so it's fine. So I thought oh, we could just have a chat and do this. And then I'm gonna put tissue paper on it. You guys saw this already, but this is my little present from Corey. I got him two games and a book that match the same price as these. That probably looks like ass, but like, do we care? I have to remember like what's what, so I will make tags. So we have these two from my parents to myself. I'm just gonna keep them in the bubble wrap. Like that's quite cute, you know? And then we have these two books that I actually picked up for Corey, but mum paid me back for them. They're two of our now retired football players from our team. You could tell, but I don't think he cares because they're bags. I think the bags look better than wrapped. Is anyone else? I love wrapping presents. Do you guys understand? I know. I feel like this is a very Christmassy vlog already and it's on the 27th of November. I like Christmas. I want to make Christmas fun for everybody.
they do. I'm very sorry about that. It's bloody hot and this angle is not doing me well. It is 7.43 and I don't know what to do. Like I'm in that mood. I'm in like a funky mood. Not fun. So I'm going to try my absolute best to read some of this. I just scratched my nose. I look like fucking Rudolph. But I've read two chapters of this and I'm over it. Like I just don't feel connected to this as much as I did with Fourth Wing. So I'm going to try my best to get into this. But again, it's only two chapters, so like, I can't really judge it, you know? So we're gonna keep going, read about some dragons and read words I don't understand. And hopefully we can get through some of this. So I'm currently at chapter three, so let's see how far I can get. See how I'm feeling at the end of it, okay? Okay. It's nine o'clock and I read three chapters. <laughs> Better than nothing. I'm gonna go read fan fiction now. <laughs> I haven't actually physically talked to you guys all day today. I love being a blogger. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. It's currently 6.47 p.m. I've just finished dinner for the night. I have updated you ish today. I got dressed this morning, went to the post office, picked up another one of those chairs. We picked up one yesterday. It's one of the boys because his parents are getting the same chair. Doesn't matter. So we went to the post office for that and then I came home, had some lunch and that's love updated you on, I'm pretty sure. So I read for a little bit today. I read a bit of this today, guys. We're going to talk about books for a second, okay? Thank you. So I told you guys I read three chapters last night. I read a couple today as well. I'm currently up to chapter nine. I started with three chapters, then I read another three yesterday night, and then I read another three today, basically. I'm going to try and read some more. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't like this. I don't know how I feel about it. I just don't know. And, like, it's not giving, you know? And I loved Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing is my baby. I'm just not connecting with this. It's not giving what I want it to give. Which I guess is okay, but considering Fourth Wing came out this year, and this second book for Fourth Wing, still came out this year. I have had a migraine all day, so I had a nap today as well as reading, so that didn't really mix well. I do kind of want to pick another book to read while I read this, because this is making me hate reading right now, <laughs> and I want another book that I could pick up and be like, yeah, I love this shit, you know? I have the kind of like three options I want to talk to you guys about, which I think would be fun. There's actually four options. I lied. Sorry. So we have Wildfire by Hannah Grace. We have the Elsie Silver chestnut spring series is that what it's called there's six books five books <laughs> in this series and then i also had the option of powerless by lauren roberts but this is a fantasy whereas iron flame is also a fantasy so i don't want to get confused because i know my little pea brain will get confused i think it's out of these two i don't know which one to pick I'm leaning more towards this i don't even know what this is about i just bought the whole series i'm the golden boy of professional bull riding Wow. Or at least I was until it all blew up my face. Now my agent says I have to clean out my image. Classic, classic. So I'm stuck with his ball-busting daughter for the rest of the season as my full-time supervision. She says this means nothing. I say this means everything. She says there are boundaries we shouldn't cross, that my reputation can't take any more hits and neither can a damaged heart. I say I'm going to steal it anyway. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I have a feeling I'm going to start this as well as Iron Flame. Was that a playlist? There's a playlist! Fun! The difference in my reading is crazy right now. I'm probably going to start this to be honest because I have nothing better to do with my life except read, which is great. So let's start a new book. I'm not joking when I say that I've read not much of this book, let's be honest. I'm up to chapter five, 50 pages in, and I'm already enjoying myself more than I have reading this book fucking massive ass one i don't even know what to say i'm loving this because every chapter starts with a text message i'm pretty sure which is so much fun i'm liking it good morning happy wednesday went to the post office this morning for three days in a row <laughs> i should show you my book first that would work anyway there are our parcels i gotta fix them anyway got mum a book set for christmas but i also bought myself a book because why the frick not i have this book this is the way i used to be by amber smith i haven't read it it's apparently heartbreaking cool but i also found out when i was looking for mum's book set on big w that she brought out a sequel <laughs> So this is The Way I Am Now by Amber Smith. I just picked it up because again it's a sequel so I kind of feel like I have to have both. But they look really good together. I'm really happy that they work well together. Stunning. This is how you make 
Brick and book covers. Nelly, don't eat that. So I bought mum a box set of books that she already has. Yes, I know it's crazy. God, it smells like Christmas in here. Okay, we're in the theater room, but I got mum this box set. Um, she already has these books. It's a pack of eight and four of them have certain covers that she has and the other four match these covers. So I just bought her the entire set again to match them all. I'm gonna try and put them in this baggie that I already made up for myself. <laughs> That's gorgeous. You're the snowman. I'm covered in glitter. That's cool. I feel like this vlog is books and Christmas. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this and then I'm going to help dad do some lights for our house outside. I'll quickly show you our tree situation. So we moved the chairs and I have the tree here. But like this has to fall. Like it takes a while for it to like form its shape. So it's just sitting there. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hey, hi. Hi. Good morning! Happy Thursday and happy Spotify. Spotify. Wow. Happy Spotify wrap day. Morning everybody. We're going out today. We're going shopping. So enjoy quality content. And then tomorrow we're decorating the house for Christmas. Like Rory just said, his number one artist for like the fourth year in a row is Miss Shania Twain. Um, did I listen to anything else? No. Yes. Artist for me, not that anyone gives a freaking toot. Top artist was Lewis Capaldi this year because of his new album. Then I have Sam Smith. I'm only having them at number two because I went to see them live. So I feel like that's... Can you not hit me with the squishmallow, please? And then number three is Omar. Are we shocked? We shouldn't be. I've got Luke Combs and then Billie Eilish. Hello. Is that now? Number one song of the year was from Young Royals. Is that a shocking revelation? Absolutely not. But that's my little top five songs. Oh, hello. Let's get dressed for the day. Should we wear a black skirt? I think that's cute. People are going to judge you regardless. So wear the fuck you want. Good morning! I want to wear a white top today. These like little turtleneck things I got from Cider. 100% my thing. Hello! Can you see my boobs? That's cute. And then a blazer on top? Like, come on. How cute! Like, come on. Tell me this is the cutest thing ever. Even though I'm just going shopping, I still feel cute. So the main reason why we went out today was to get myself, mum and Corey a new pair of glasses. We got fitted for new glasses. They got here a while ago. But we went to Specsavers. These are my new little babies. And the ends are black. So thankfully, hopefully, they won't get dyed red like my old pair. And they're cute. I love clear glasses. Anyway, I'm not obviously going to wear them now because I'm filming. But that was the main reason why we went out. But we went out. We go out every fortnight to get food, etc, etc. Will you believe me if I tell you out of all these stack of books, only one of this is mine. <laughs> Five of these books are for either Molly or Annalisa. You're gonna, my bestie's gonna hate me, but it's fine. Gift giving is my love language, it's fine. So I'm not gonna show you the books I got them. I finished up Molly's present today, which are all these books, plus something I made her, which I can't show you. So I got her them, and then I have a single book down here for Annalisa, I have to find her some more. Anyway, I picked up a book myself, cause this came out. The new Lynn Painter book, Betting on You. Have no idea what it's about, but it's Lynn Painter, so gotta get it. The first time Bailey meets Charlie, he's the worst. <laughs> Bailey finds herself trapped for 10 hours with a cynical and obnoxiously op opinionated stranger. The polar opposite of her careful, well-behaved Kiri. Kiri? Cheery temperament. So imagine your surprise when years later Charlie turns out to be a co-worker at a new job but this time around they find themselves talking comfortably and even laughing. Why are the dogs going crazy? And for one that's not my own dog. Still they agree they can't stand each other and when they witness two of their co-workers flirting, they commentary on the moment spirals into a bet. 
Ho ho ho! Charlie insists that members of the opposite sex can't just be friends and Bailey is determined to prove him wrong. Amidst all their bickering and playful banter, Charlie works to deflect the feelings he's developed for Bailey. He is terrified to lose her if his crush becomes known and what doesn't he? What? And what doesn't help his agenda is Bailey and Charlie fake dating in order to disrupt the annoying pleasantries between Bailey's mum and her mum's new boyfriend. Charlie has a secret, a secret that involves Bailey and another bet Charlie may have made. Can the two make a real go of things or is Charlie's secret doomed them before they start? I'm excited, the cover is stunning, the spine is even cuter because it matches all the other ones. Like what the heck? Look at this. Oh, I just realized they all match. So if I take the love wager out because that doesn't match and I just, you know, move that away, we have these three. Look how stunning that is. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, probably eat some dinner, probably watch a wrestling with the boys and probably not update you. I didn't read anything today. Cool. Love that for me. Hello, friends. We're in the studio. We're going to do a little bit of a DIY, which is so much fun. We love a little DIY. I bought these two dollar stockings from Kmart today. They're just plain because I wanted our family to have matching stockings. So I'm going to put our names on the bottom. Enjoy the time lapse probably of this. We'll see how it works. everybody and happy friday and happy december 1st we are gonna decorate our house today ah you excited now now good morning i haven't updated you really last night i couldn't really show you what i was doing because i was doing christmas presents for the girls kind of can't show you that but i wrapped um molly's kind of books that i got her and then i am about to make something for lisa i actually got my first etsy order on my etsy obviously so I have to package that and then tomorrow I'm going to go get some stamps because it's international, it's from Norway, so how exciting. Um, so I have to package that today as well in between this whole mess of making the house look pretty. But that's the update. So that's all I've been doing last night. I can't really update you and show you because it's presents, so. Where are you, Christmas? The mix so. One, two, and they match. And then my favorite. Oh, there we go. I have the first one of the Car Caraval. Caraval. This is the next two books in the set. So I got them. Uh -huh. I've already read this, one of my faves, but this is annotated by the author. How insane is that? But special edition, got me edges, everything. Is there anything under the dust jacket? <laughs> like throughout the whole book, there's little bits here of Mia doing annotation. Oh, that's so ex- Look how pretty. Oh, special editions are so stunning. That's the pass we picked up today. <laughs> We're back on the camera quality now, everybody. As you've clearly seen, we went to the post office and took Nan now for a walk. She's knackered now. But today's December 1st. Corey, what do we do on December 1st? Christmas tree. We did a tree and decorations today. We didn't watch wrestling yesterday because we were out all day. So we're going to watch that during lunch and while I decorate the tree. So you're just going to see a time lapse, okay? These are all the ornaments. Cool. Are you knackered? Yeah? Good girl. <laughs> These are how the stockings turned out. So there's dad's. It's out of focus. Mum's, Corey's, and then mine. And then I'm going to have uh, these little ones for Nelly and socks on the ends. And then I have all the gifts here. They're going to finally go under the tree. Nelly has been sneakily sitting under the tree. So that's going to be fun when I put fucking presents there. She's staring at me like I've done something wrong. Oh. Say hi. Say goodbye. Say whatever. Who's through there? There. Oh, there we go, kind of.
here's an update. There's Nelly and Corey. This is the tree. I haven't used all the baubles yet, so I haven't finished it yet. Then I redid the stockings so I hated how they look. I still don't know if I like them, but it's fine, I guess. We have a Santa. We have my three little gnomies. I'm trying to put up the other stockings now, but the wall is hard. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yay, yay, yay! Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Does it look cute? No. <laughs> yeah, just like a chick. <laughs> It's currently like 7 30 and i thought i'd update you and show you what i've done we have a reef cool and then we have these two stitched thingies from our family friend we have tinsel on both folk and my granddad then we step into this little winter wonderland okay cool so we have my gnomes here we have a penguin then we have the tree i didn't put any lights on this year because that's too much hassle we've got some prezzies under there already and this is probably my favorite section ever these are the stockings tinsel we've got nelly's toys ignore that a big santa we've got our gnomes more tinsel here more tinsel here got to put that away we have our chair covers and our little centerpiece i don't know why it's going out of focus we have a bunch of our spare stockings or our family like children's stockings i guess i put some little gnomes on a baby photo of Corey, and yes, that is me and Corey. Ignore that. And then we have the main table. Oh, did you want <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I think we did okay. Hello, everybody, and happy Sunday. <laughs> Completely missed the whole day. Sorry about that. I didn't update you at all yesterday. I basically pretty much edited all day ish. Last night I started reading more of Flawless by Elsie Silver. So I'm going to give you guys an update on where I'm up to and I'm going to read right now. And then I will update you finally and see where I'm up to with this. As you can see, I'm just a little bit under halfway. Absolutely loving this so far. I'm currently up to chapter 18, page 206. According to Goodreads, I'm about 48% of the way through. So I really, 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 really want to get a good chunk of this done. Hopefully all of it today. Who knows? But we'll see. You may or may not get some reactions out of me for the rest of this. But I do want to focus on reading this. After this, I'm either going to read Heartless or Betting on You by Lynn Painter. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because Iron Flame is just not doing it for me right now. So, we're going to get back into this and I'm so excited. Hey! Uh, it's a new week. I didn't vlog anything when I finished updating you the last time. So, sorry. But I'm going to finish the vlog here. But I'm going to talk about books for a little bit before I do that. So, sorry if you don't enjoy that. But we're doing it. We're going to talk about this book. This was so stinking cute. And, like, I never thought I would be reading about cowboys and bull riders. And, like, life on a ranch. And, like, a small town. Like, I've read small towns before. Something about this. <laughs> Something about this. And I'm so excited to read the next book. Because my least favorite person is Kay. Is that his name? I'm pretty sure that's Cade. And I didn't like him at all. Guess what the next book's about? Him. So that's fucking great. Yeah, Cade and Willa, which is her best friend. <laughs> the next book is about his brother and her best friend. I'm sorry. I'm so excited because I've met all the characters in this book. I always like meeting new characters in the first book. Then I can obviously get into the next one. So I'm really excited to keep this going. I'm so, so, so happy that I finally read this. I'm loving it. I'm loving reading it because I'm not reading Eye of Flame. It's sitting on my desk over there just chilling. I'm not even in the mood to read that. Like I don't want to even start it. So instead, I started this last night. <laughs> I literally finished this. And then went straight into this. I started betting on you by Lynn Painter. And I am currently up to chapter 27. I am 220 pages in. And I'm probably going to finish this today if I am up for it. This is so cute. Lynn Painter can do no wrong when she creates funny banter between friends. Okay. The banter between these two people. 
see you later. I'm loving this so far. You guys can tell with my genre that I love a good romance. I love a good young adult freaking romance. It's so much fun to just fall into the universe of romance and small town and friends to lovers and all that jazz. So I'm excited to be getting back into reading now. My Inner Flame's just chilling. It's not doing anything. I haven't read a fucking peep of it, but I had to be in the mood for it and I'm just not in the mood for it. So anyway, but that is the end of this weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was very Christmassy and very bookish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up for me. If you are interested in any of the jewelry pieces I showed at the start of this video, click the link down below. You can just get some cute jewelry. Come on now. Like, Come on. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. All my links, again, from Anna Louisa and also my social medias will be linked down below, like always. If you're new here for this card, make a new video every single Thursday if I'm up for it at 12 p.m. But I hope you guys have a good and safe happy holidays if I don't say it beforehand. I love you guys very much. Remember to spread love and stay positive, And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone.